Welcome to Just Stories, we hope you enjoy the story. The Six-Day War, Israel's Swift Victory and Its Far-Reaching Consequences, by Just Stories. Chapter 1, A Powder Keg in the Middle East. In order to understand the Six-Day War and its far-reaching consequences, it is essential to first examine the historical context that led up to the conflict. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 and the subsequent Arab-Israeli conflict created a powder keg in the Middle East that was bound to explode at some point. This chapter will explore the tensions and events that preceded the Six-Day War. The origins of the Arab-Israeli conflict The roots of the Arab-Israeli conflict can be traced back to the late 19th century when Jewish immigrants began settling in Palestine, then part of the Ottoman Empire. The Zionist movement, which sought to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine, gained momentum in the early 20th century and was supported by many Jews around the world. However, the Arab population of Palestine viewed the Zionist movement with suspicion and hostility. They saw the influx of Jewish immigrants as a threat to their own rights and interests and feared that the establishment of a Jewish state would lead to their displacement and marginalization. The conflict between Jews and Arabs in Palestine escalated in the years leading up to World War II and became even more intense following the Holocaust, which led to a massive influx of Jewish refugees to Palestine. The United Nations, which was established in 1945, proposed a partition plan in 1947 that would have created separate Jewish and Arab states in Palestine. The plan was accepted by the Jewish leadership, but rejected by the Arab states, who argued that it violated their sovereignty and rights. The establishment of Israel and the First Arab-Israeli War, in 1948, Israel declared its independence, and the Arab states responded by launching a war to prevent its establishment. The conflict, which lasted for over a year, resulted in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians and the establishment of a state of Israel that was larger than what had been proposed by the United Nations. The first Arab-Israeli war set the stage for decades of conflict and tension in the Middle East. The Arab states refused to recognize Israel's right to exist and continued to fight against it in a series of wars and skirmishes over the years. Israel, for its part, maintained a policy of expansion and territorial acquisition, which further fueled the hostility of its Arab neighbors. The lead-up to the Six-Day War, by the mid-1960s, tensions between Israel and its Arab neighbors had reached a boiling point. In 1964, the Palestine Liberation Organization was established with the goal of liberating Palestine from Israeli control. In 1967, Egypt, Syria, and Jordan signed a mutual defense pact and began mobilizing their armies in preparation for war with Israel. In May of 1967, Egypt blockaded the Straits of Tehran, cutting off Israel's access to the Red Sea and the Port of Islet. Israel saw this as a casus belli and launched a preemptive strike on June 5, 1967, targeting the air forces of Egypt, Syria, and Jordan. The Six-Day War had begun. In conclusion, the Six-Day War was the result of decades of tension and conflict between Israel and its Arab neighbors. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 and the subsequent Arab-Israeli conflict created a powder keg in the Middle East that was bound to explode at some point. The lead-up to the Six-Day War was characterized by mobilization, military build-up, and saber-rattling on both sides. Chapter 2, The Lightning Strike On June 5, 1967, Israel launched a surprise attack on the air forces of Egypt, Syria, and Jordan in what would come to be known as the Six-Day War. In this chapter, we will explore the military operations of the war and the decisive Israeli victory that changed the course of Middle Eastern history. The Israeli preemptive strike, Israel's preemptive strike on the morning of June 5, 1967, was designed to cripple the Arab air forces before they could launch an attack on Israel. The Israeli Air Force targeted Egyptian airfields in the Sinai Peninsula, Syrian airfields in the Golan Heights, and Jordanian airfields in the West Bank. The IAF's success in destroying most of the Arab air forces on the ground was a major factor in Israel's victory in the war. The loss of air power severely hampered the Arab army's ability to defend their territory and allowed the IAF to operate with near impunity throughout the conflict. 
The fighting on multiple fronts, following the initial airstrikes, Israel launched a ground offensive on multiple fronts. In the Sinai Peninsula, Israeli forces quickly overran Egyptian positions and advanced towards the Suez Canal. In the Golan Heights, Israeli tanks and infantry battled Syrian forces in a series of intense engagements. In the West Bank, Israeli forces faced stiff resistance from Jordanian troops who were dug in around the city of Jerusalem. Despite facing determined opposition on all fronts, Israeli forces made rapid progress and by the end of the first day of the war had seized control of the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, and the West Bank. The decisive Israeli victory, over the next five days, Israeli forces continued to make gains on all fronts. They captured the old city of Jerusalem, which had been under Jordanian control since the 1948 war, and took control of the West Bank, the Golan Heights, and the Sinai Peninsula. By the end of the war, Israel had tripled its territory and had achieved a decisive military victory over its Arab neighbors. The aftermath of the war, the Six-Day War had far-reaching consequences for the Middle East and the world. Israel's territorial gains changed the balance of power in the region and had a profound impact on the Palestinian people, many of whom became refugees as a result of the war. The Arab states, humiliated by their defeat, became more hostile towards Israel and refused to recognize its right to exist. The Six-Day War also had an impact on the wider geopolitical landscape of the Cold War. The United States, which had supported Israel during the war, became more closely aligned with the Jewish state, while the Soviet Union, which had supported the Arab states, lost influence in the region. In conclusion, the Six-Day War was a lightning strike that changed the course of Middle Eastern history. Israel's preemptive strike on the Arab air forces was a daring move that paid off in a swift and decisive victory. The fighting on multiple fronts was intense and brutal, but Israel's military superiority ultimately prevailed. The aftermath of the war would have far-reaching consequences for the Middle East and the world, and would set the stage for decades of conflict and tension. Chapter 3, Aftermath and Consequences The Six-Day War had a profound impact on the Middle East and the world. In this chapter, we will examine the immediate and long-term consequences of the war, including the territorial gains and losses for Israel and its Arab neighbors, the refugee crisis, and the impact of the war on the wider Middle East. Territorial gains and losses, the most immediate consequence of the Six-Day War was Israel's territorial gains. Israel captured the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, the Golan Heights from Syria, and the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, from Jordan. These territories more than tripled the size of Israel's pre-1967 borders. The territorial gains were seen as a triumph by many Israelis who believed that the enlarged borders would provide greater security for the Jewish state. However, the acquisition of territory also created new challenges for Israel, including the management of a large Arab population in the West Bank and Gaza, and the ongoing conflict with the Palestinians. The refugee crisis, the Six-Day War also resulted in a significant refugee crisis as hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were displaced from their homes in the newly occupied territories. Many fled to neighboring Arab states, while others remained in the occupied territories, where they became part of the Palestinian diaspora. The refugee crisis has had a long-term impact on the Middle East and remains a major source of tension and conflict to this day. The Palestinians continue to demand the right of return to their homes, while Israel has resisted such demands, citing security concerns and the need to maintain a Jewish majority. The impact on the wider Middle East the Six-Day War had a profound impact on the wider Middle East and contributed to the ongoing conflict between Israel and its Arab neighbors. The Arab states, humiliated by their defeat, refused to recognize Israel's right to exist and vowed to continue the fight for Palestinian liberation. The war also had an impact on the wider geopolitical landscape of the Cold War. The United States, which had supported Israel during the war, became more closely aligned with the Jewish state, while the Soviet Union, which had supported the Arab states, lost influence in the region. 
In the years following the Six-Day War, Israel and its Arab neighbors engaged in a series of conflicts and peace negotiations, including the Yom Kippur War in 1973, the Camp David Accords in 1978, and the Oslo Accords in 1993. Despite these efforts, the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians remains unresolved, and the wider Middle East continues to be a region of instability and tension. In conclusion, the Six-Day War had far-reaching consequences for the Middle East and the world. The territorial gains and losses for Israel and its Arab neighbors created new challenges and tensions, while the refugee crisis had a long-term impact on the region. The war also had an impact on the wider geopolitical landscape of the Cold War and contributed to ongoing conflicts and tensions in the Middle East. In the next chapter, we will examine the international reactions to the Six-Day War. Chapter 4, Global Reactions and Responses The Six-Day War had far-reaching consequences not only for the Middle East, but for the world as a whole. In this chapter, we will examine the international reactions to the war and the responses of the United States, the Soviet Union, and other major world powers. The United States The United States played a key role in the Six-Day War, providing military and diplomatic support to Israel. President Lyndon B. Johnson saw Israel as a key ally in the region and feared that a defeat for Israel would embolden Soviet-backed Arab states. In the days leading up to the war, the United States attempted to broker a peaceful solution to the crisis, but when Egypt blockaded the Straits of Tehran, the United States gave Israel the green light to launch a preemptive strike. Following Israel's victory in the war, the United States increased its support for Israel, providing military aid and diplomatic backing. This support would continue in the years following the war, with the United States becoming one of Israel's closest allies. The Soviet Union The Soviet Union also played a significant role in the Six-Day War, providing military and diplomatic support to the Arab states. The Soviet Union saw the conflict as a chance to increase its influence in the Middle East and to counterbalance the United States' support for Israel. In the days leading up to the war, the Soviet Union mobilized its forces in the region and warned Israel against launching a preemptive strike. When the war broke out, the Soviet Union condemned Israel's actions and provided military and economic aid to the Arab states. Following the war, the Soviet Union continued to support the Arab states and to criticize Israel's occupation of the newly captured territories. However, the Soviet Union's influence in the region would be undermined in the years following the war as the United States became more closely aligned with Israel. Other World Powers The Six-Day War also had an impact on other major world powers, including the United Kingdom, France, and China. The United Kingdom and France, which had supported Israel in the 1956 Suez Crisis, were more cautious in their support during the Six-Day War and called for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. China, which had previously supported the Arab states, remained largely neutral during the conflict, but saw Israel's victory as a blow to Soviet influence in the region. In conclusion, the Six-Day War had far-reaching consequences for the world, with major world powers taking sides and getting involved in the conflict. The United States' support for Israel and the Soviet Union's support for the Arab states reflected the wider geopolitical tensions of the Cold War. The aftermath of the Six-Day War would continue to have an impact on the world in the years to come, with ongoing conflicts and tensions in the Middle East, and with Israel and its Arab neighbors still struggling to find a peaceful resolution to their differences. Chapter 5, Legacy and Lessons Learned The Six-Day War had a profound impact on the Middle East and the world, and its legacy continues to be felt to this day. In this chapter, we will examine the enduring legacy of the war and the lessons that have been learned from it. The impact on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict Perhaps the most significant legacy of the Six-Day War is its impact on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The capture of the West Bank and Gaza Strip by Israel led to the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, and the establishment of Israeli settlements in these territories has been a major source of tension and conflict ever since. The ongoing conflict between Israel and the Palestinians remains one of the most intractable in the world, and the legacy of the Six-Day War continues to shape the attitudes and actions of both sides. The broader Arab-Israeli conflict, 
the Six-Day War also had a significant impact on the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. The Arab states, humiliated by their defeat, became more hostile towards Israel and continued to reject its right to exist. This hostility has contributed to ongoing conflicts and tensions in the region and has made it difficult to achieve a lasting peace. The role of military preparedness, the swift and decisive victory of Israel in the Six-Day War was largely due to its military preparedness and readiness to act. Israel's preemptive strike on the Arab air forces and its rapid ground offensive on multiple fronts caught the Arab states off guard and allowed Israel to gain the upper hand. The importance of military preparedness has been a key lesson learned from the Six-Day War and has been emphasized in the military strategies of many countries since then. The role of diplomacy, the Six-Day War also highlighted the importance of diplomacy in preventing and resolving conflicts. The United States efforts to broker a peaceful solution to the crisis were ultimately unsuccessful, but diplomatic efforts have been successful in other conflicts in the region, including the Camp David Accords in 1978 and the Oslo Accords in 1993. The importance of diplomacy as a tool for conflict resolution has been a key lesson learned from the Six-Day War and has been emphasized in efforts to resolve ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and elsewhere. In conclusion, the Six-Day War had a profound impact on the Middle East and the world, and its legacy continues to be felt to this day. The ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the broader Arab-Israeli conflict, and the lessons learned about military preparedness and diplomacy are just a few of the ways in which the war has shaped the world we live in. As we look to the future, it is important to remember the lessons of the Six-Day War and to strive for peace and understanding in the face of conflict and tension. The legacy of the Six-Day War may be complex and difficult, but it also provides opportunities for growth and learning and for creating a better world for all. Thank you for watching our story, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, so you don't miss out on our next video.